Hello. Hope you guys are having a good night. Sunday night here. I'm gonna be taking it easy tonight, doing some, doing some sketching and maybe some other stuff. Uh, nothing super fancy. Probably, probably gonna be a little bit shorter than usual too. Uh, maybe half hour, forty five minutes, something like that. Um, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Having a good end to your weekend or a good start to your week. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I almost wasn't going to stream again just because I was feeling kind of tired, but... Uh, I have some stuff to get done anyway, so I, f I figured I'd at least do, like, you know, my warm-up and stream my warm-up. Um, and I'm just going to do a little bit of, uh, straight-to-ink sketching in here, just to kind of get going. Yeah, I figure. Thank you. And I figure if I'm if I'm gonna be drawing, I might as well, might as well stream as long as it's you know stuff I can share. Simply because I, it's like really good motivation for me. Uh, I'm really really productive when I stream. So, just being selfish and thinking about myself, it's good for me. But then I'm hoping that you guys enjoy it too. So I I, I do appreciate that you guys are happy that I'm actually on and streaming. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you guys don't get like bored of them, cause I'm I'm gonna try to do, do the streams fairly often. You know, at least at least try to do them every day as often as I can. I know that's kind of like a lot of the same. So, yeah, I hope it doesn't get boring. But hopefully, the fact that I'll be drawing different stuff all the time will keep it fresh. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to agree. It's probably one of my favorites, too. Yeah, time zones stink. Yeah, it's true. That's why that's why I also tried to stream during the day earlier today. Um, so more people are able to see it. Because I, I, I do normally stream at uh, times that may not be convenient for some people in certain time zones. And also, there's also the YouTube you can always catch the replays on. Uh, which I know it's not as fun as like the live stream, but... At least it's something, right? And you can just pop on the app too. If you go to my profile, the the replay should stay up there for 24 hours. And I usually upload the YouTube replays like fairly soon after they're done, after I finish streaming. So. Shouldn't have to wait too long to see it. I don't know if you guys can hear anything in the background. My wife is watching the Video Music Awards. 
I, I, I just like can't bring myself to watch that stuff. It's not even like the music. I don't, I don't mind a lot of the music. It's just I can't deal with contemporary musicians, like especially Miley Cyrus. But it's far enough away that like you shouldn't be able to, shouldn't be able to. At least I hope it won't trigger any of the copyrights on on the video. Yeah, I just I don't know. It's not for me. Yeah, true, true. Just too much for me. Maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being a little quiet tonight. I am kind of tired. I'm also just trying to relax. Oh my gosh, can you hear that? That's bad news. If you guys can hear it. I might not be able to post this video on YouTube then. But that's okay, because I wasn't going to do... a... Uh, long stream anyway, so... Nope, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I, I really hope that's not true. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't. Um, I'll try to keep talking so it like drowns it out, but whatever. I mean, it's on live TV, right? Like it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But you never know how uptight these companies can get. What if Miley followed me, like on, like on Twitter or something? I don't, I don't know. It'd be weird if she was like watching on the stream right now because she's hosting the VMAs or whatever. But <laughs> I, I feel like there there's got to be like some <laughs> professional respect. Be like, hey, like I don't like your music. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just not my taste. Oh man. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I could be like a famous person because, like, a lot of famous people like have to play nice even if they're mad at each other. I couldn't do that. Like, if I, if I have beef with somebody, like, I can't, I can't pretend <laughs> to be nice. Can't do it. I don't know if anybody says that anymore, like, I got beef. Yeah, I probably would. I mean, that's... Somebody said I'm already famous. I, am I? I'm not famous. I don't think so, anyway. If I am, it doesn't feel any different from being... Well, whatever the alternative to being famous is. I, actually, somebody said that to me before that like I was like Instagram famous or something like that. I don't. I don't does that actually mean anything? I don't think it means anything. I mean, at least it's not you know like being famous in the traditional sense. But I am, I am like super happy and thankful to have as many followers as I do. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like not real famous. Internet famous is not real famous. I've always kind of maintained that to be true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
It's like being, like, being rich in spirit is not, like, actually being rich. <laughs> I don't think my signature has ever been the same twice. I was kind of just like scribble. Maybe throw like a K in there. That's about as good as it gets. I'll probably do one more of these. I actually gotta grab some more comic books and work through this stack that I currently have. Thanks, guys. Glad you like it. And I try to do different stuff, especially when I'm doing like little. Especially when I'm doing like little. Uh, that one's kind of bent. I'll save that one. The best time to experiment is when you're just doing uh, like little sketches. It's like it's a good opportunity to experiment and try new stuff. Because if it doesn't work out and you don't like it, then it didn't take you very long. All right, I'm gonna continue to try like some slightly different stuff. Um, just because I've been I've been feeling inspired by some different artists drawing like like way more like exaggerated styles, so I'm gonna try to do uh, some stuff like that. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm, okay. I've been really inspired lately by uh, Guillaume Singelin, which I talk, who I talk about a lot. Um, great artist on Instagram. You can find him uh, by looking at. I think he's Blackie Junk on Tumblr, or like Junk. Uh, he might be Junk Gallery. It's usually a, com a combination of like Blackie Junk or Junk Gallery or something like that on his uh, social media accounts. But he just joined Instagram as uh, Blackie San. He's been doing these really cool sketches of like these like army characters, like military like characters with like big big exaggerated uh equipment and features and kind of wanted to draw like a character with like a big cloak cause he's been drawing these like huge uh like exaggerated cloaks that are really fun big like poofy things so I want to draw something inspired by that and yeah like I oh mean I love drawing big coats it's so much fun. Oh, thank you. I did. I did notice that comment. So I'm, I'm good at drawing straight to ink. I'm, I'm really spacey tonight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of like zoning out. Uh, just because I'm drawing. Uh, and then yeah. So sorry. Sorry, I'm being a little spacey. Yeah, I really, I really like drawing straight to ink, and it's. I, I really like drawing straight to ink, uh, as it, as it's really spontaneous. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, his Bloodborne stuff is totally incredible. That's actually what inspired me to start drawing Bloodborne stuff. He's just like another one of the artists that's just like an endless uh, source of inspiration for me. Just because, and like the way he draws is like really, 
like not similar to what I do. Like he does like super stylized stuff. Most of the time with like really simple lines. And it's just it's like so impressive to me. Because I just I just I think in like terms of like a lot of little lines instead of a lot of like larger deliberately placed lines. And he does like a lot of planning with his drawings. Which I like really admire because I don't have the patience for that kind of stuff. And so honestly, whenever I do like a study of his work or his style, like I find that I don't have the I don't have the patience to do it. Yeah. Like bigger pieces I think you have to do more planning just so you don't end up like uh messing up or something. Uh, Cuz I, I I do a lot more planning ahead of time with my larger pieces. You know, I do thumbnails and sketches and coloring tests and stuff like that if I'm going to be coloring. Uh cuz it's totally like a different ball game. Like it's easy to do a small drawing without a lot of planning because you know it's investing a lot of time. You're you know investing a lot of time in it if it ends up going wrong. And I, I'm still, that's one of the things I'm always striving for, is like to draw a little bit faster. Like make my lines more confident and quicker, because like a quicker line has a lot more character to it too. Like you can, maybe maybe not at first glance, but people who have been drawing for a while can tell the difference between a very quick spontaneous line and a very like deliberate line. Like you can tell in just like the feel and the wobble of it. Like there's like a pacing you can see in the line of whether or not the person took a long time making it. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Maybe I'm like talking totally crazy, and that's like my mutant power to be able to like sense the speed of a line or something. Who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna make that make that foot a little bit longer and just white out the extra junk. Uh, my proportions, I eyeball them, but. I have I have a lot of history doing uh figure drawing so it's it's like kind of muscle memory to me to like make semi accurate proportions so I generally eyeball them um you can kind of like doing doing gestures definitely helps uh build that muscle memory and like kind of it's it's all about like ingraining those proportions like in your mind so they just like come naturally to you uh, that's the way I draw anyway um because I don't like spending a lot of time planning out proportions and stuff and you know really like fiddling with it to make it perfect. I'd rather draw, you know, s slightly, excuse me, slightly inaccurate proportions that appear accurate. Because it's it's honestly like the fact that I know what I'm doing and I th I think that shows I didn't mean to sound like I know what I'm doing. Like I don't mean to make it sound like that, but like I do have a lot of time figure drawing under my belt, like hours and hours and hours. And, like I don't care about whiting out these boots because I'm just making them black anyway. So if I change the shape of them a little bit, I'm just bloop bloop, just like that, like done and done. She's going to be talking about uh, like the I don't know, like a bullet or something. Like 
she's saying she needs ammo or something, or, like, I'm gonna put a bullet in you, like, I don't know, like, something silly like that. Alright, just for fun, let's compare these signatures to see if they look like they're the same. I think just like the signature M and J, like, kind of totally are just what my signature is all about. Oh, did I not draw on this one? Oh, let me see. Oh, I guess it's there. I guess the major elements are there. Maybe I'm just crazy. I just feel like my my signature is super unpredictable. There's a couple more like loops on this one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Cool, so that was fun. How about we do one more? We'll do one more. And then maybe I'll do like a small like sketchbook sketch and then probably call it a night. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And are going to have a good week. Let's do... I'm going to do like a... I don't know. I don't know. What are we going to do? I'm just going to draw some more like army chicks. So I'm like feeling that right now. Oh jeez, you guys are still on the butt plug, huh? <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Maybe, maybe it is. It probably is, actually. I'm just gonna pretend like it's not. All I'm trying to do is draw. I'm not trying to start anything. I did. I did actually start the butt plug thing, so that that is my fault. Uh, probably. Yeah. I mean, I feel like band aids always end up on these these ladies one way or another. People always ask me like, "What's what's the deal with the band aids?" I'm like, I don't know. They're just really fun to draw. They're really fun to draw, and they 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 make they're an interesting thing to put on a figure. I mean, just the fact that people are always asking about them is just a testament to the fact of how that they're successful, <laughs> and it makes them look like you know like rough and tumble type characters, which I really like. Yeah, yeah, de definitely, definitely good for filling space. That was like a, what I was saying, like, band-aids are great just to put stuff on a figure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tank Girl is another thing. And I don't think I've actually mentioned Tank Girl yet, but Tank Girl is a big influence uh, on my art and uh, Jamie Hewlett in general. Um, I think I did mention at one point that, like, one of my first... Uh, the first CD I ever bought was a uh, Gorilla's first album, and they had a bunch of Jamie Hewlett's art in the uh, leaflet, and so that was like really. I think I think a lot of his work translates in my art because that was one of my really early uh, inspirations.
Yeah, I always, I always, that's definitely, I think, it, it wasn't, I didn't start doing the Band-Aid thing, like, really early on. That's actually fairly recent. But, yeah, Jamie Hewlett did that a lot, too, I think. So, like, maybe subconsciously that was always there in my mind. Nate Van Dyke. Uh, it doesn't. It's not ringing a bell. Uh, I don't. I don't quite know who that is off the top of my head. All about those legs. Yeah, let's get some band-aids in there. Again, sorry if I'm being quiet tonight, guys. I'm just kind of like chilling out right now. I hope it's not too boring. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys are the best. Oh, sweet. Super Smash Bros. Who is it? Like, the character I'm drawing? Nobody in particular. Just a... Just a fun soldier girl. Uh, nothing fancy. I, uh... I actually get that question a lot. Um, when I'm just, like, drawing something offhand. Um, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Uh, but I get it a lot. People ask, like, oh, you know, who is that? And I, uh, I don't think it's, like, anybody means any harm by asking. I don't, I don't know. But, like, I know a lot of people do, like, draw a lot of, like, OCs that they don't, original characters or whatever, that they don't, like, use regularly, like, in comic books and stuff. And I don't really do that. Like, I have a handful of characters that I've drawn more than once, but I'm I'm planning that art that don't already have like comic books to be in or anything like that. Um but I, I pretty much have plans for all of them. I don't draw a lot of characters that I don't uh have plans for. Um people always ask me like, oh is this an OC or you know, who is this character? I'm like, uh, nobody, just something I invented for the drawing. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me when people ask that. But I just I just think it's interesting because I think that's like kind of like th that's something as far as drawing OCs go. Like that wasn't even a, a term that I understood when I started drawing. Uh, you can tell I'm tired when I'm drawing because I I didn't um, think to draw the correct trigger discipline. She should not have her finger on the trigger when she's holding the gun like that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, 
Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the, all the kind words. Bang! Another one. I like this one. I'll probably just, like, do these really quick. There's not a lot of black on that, on this drawing. Yeah. Totally impractical outfits. Huge coats, no pants. Sometimes you just gotta... It's like the war started and she didn't have time to grab her pants. I, I, I was talking a few nights ago about, like, practical outfits, and it's so it's so funny, because I'm such a hypocrite. It's like, I talk about practical outfits and design, and I draw crap like this. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, clearly she probably should wear pants. She get a lot of, like, scratches and stuff. Maybe that's what the band-aids are all about. The girls are never wearing clothes, so they're always getting, like, little cuts and scrapes that they would normally get. Little cuts, little cuts, you know, stuff like that. All right, so I'm gonna do. It's not my fault. I deny any knowledge. Of somebody made me draw all those girls with no pants. That's not true. I did it. Alright, gonna do a little sketchbook sketching. I did a little bit of that before and I, I enjoyed it, so. Gonna do this somewhere. And then I got some. some like lettering stuff I gotta wrap up at the end of the night, which I won't be streaming, so I'm probably just gonna do this and then. then call it a night. And, uh, yeah, so. Sorry for the little bit shorter stream. I did I did stream earlier today. And, uh,. After I'm warmed up, I kind of just want to get this other stuff got done and, like, maybe just relax. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, super rambling tonight. I apologize for that. <laughs> I'm just... Like, like I'm not drawing poorly, but, like, mentally I'm just not, not, not firing on all cylinders right now. Um, let's see. I'll probably do another... Actually, I really enjoyed drawing that, like, big coat with, like, the slender legs, so... I might just keep doing that. I might do another one uh, similar to that because uh, that was a lot of fun, to be honest. Um, I think it's probably like I really like drawing um, like really exaggerated figures, and I think like I might I might start doing that more often, especially because like I don't have any major projects that I'm working on right now, like personal projects where I'm drawing human characters. Uh, right now they're all like uh, anthropomorphic and stuff like that. So I think what I might do is like not really, not really uh, stress too hard about like drawing proportional human characters. And I might just like kind of start migrating into a zone where I just draw like really exaggerated uh, human anatomy. Because I really, really enjoy drawing exaggerated human anatomy. And I'm thinking that, like, I've kind of been, like, fighting myself on it. Um, as far as, like, trying to stick to, like, somewhat accurate proportions. But I think, like, I, th I feel myself going in a, the opposite direction. And yeah, somebody asked if I if I went to school. I don't. I I wouldn't say that I went to school specifically like for this, like for what I do. I went to. I I did go for illustration, but all I really did was take like the fundamental classes, um, like uh, anatomy, figure drawing, like all the the like form and lighting stuff that they teach you how to like draw realistic lighting. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't finish my degree, though. Uh, I kind of, my life went in kind of a different direction and started a family and stuff like that, so. I, I didn't stay in art school, and I honestly probably wouldn't go back at this point. 
Oh, just because I'm, I always already feel like I'm, I'm, I like where I'm at, and that it may not benefit me. Big coats. But yeah, I mean, I did, I, I, I did do some schooling. I'm gonna do like a little, like half palm glove here. I don't know if it'll translate well. We'll see. We'll see. Trigger to splint. I remembered this time. I'm actually surprised by how many people uh, notice it too. Take a picture of yourself in like a bunch of big coats. If you're having time like figuring out how like big clothes work and like the folds and stuff like that, like honestly, like it's not weird. Like take pictures of yourself like wearing a bunch of like really bulky clothes in like different poses and like see like how it works. It's a good way. Like one of the best uh, references is yourself, especially for hands. You can kind of like. Ooh, like how do I draw it from that angle? I like take pictures of yourself. It's not not an uncommon thing. I know I know a ton of I know a ton of people that will will take pictures of themselves to use as a reference, especially if it's something more obscure that you like may not be able to find, like online or something. Don't be don't be afraid, and don't be afraid to like you know like ask a good friend or something to like model for you, <laughs> you know. This coat's gonna have straps in the back for no reason, just because I want to draw something to like pull your eyes up from the ground or down from the ground or whatever. And do some big like floppy boots, maybe with some like wool or fleece on the rim. Those are always fun to draw too. I like I like drawing boots that are like kind of loosely tied on, with like the laces wrapped around them, a lot of fun. Yeah, don't, no, 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 <laughs> don't get that song stuck in my head, please don't. I'm not going to make any boots with the fur references, and I'm just going to draw them without fur now, just to, just cause, I, I, I'm just kidding, probably not, I'll probably still draw them. Draw the boots with the fur. <laughs> yeah, I always kind of like think about how funny it's got to be to watch these on YouTube and not see the comments. And most of the time I try to like repeat the question for the sake of people on YouTube, but... We, we Yeah, I'm getting back on the fountain pen. Because I love it so much. Scratch, scratch. Uh, yeah, I'm getting kind of wobbly. Sometimes I don't feel like drawing nice and clean. Actually, most of the time I don't feel like drawing nice and clean. Most of the time I feel like drawing, like messing all over the place. I'm just gonna do what I want. Hope that's cool with you guys.
Mm -hmm. I love drawing big coats. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Big collars. Just love it. Love it, love it. Hey, good night. Thanks for stopping by again. I love that I have regulars. That's so cool. I like that you guys come back on the regular to see me draw different stuff. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to stay, stay pretty regular with the streams. It's good for me. I, I am a creature of habit very much so, so if I get in the habit of doing it, then I'll keep doing it. I won't like find reasons not to or anything like that. Not that I, not that I want to find reasons not to. This is a totally unrealistic coat, but like no, I don't think anybody would make a coat like this. But that, that's that's one of the joys of drawing is that you can draw whatever the hell you want. Draw a little like, I don't know, it's like a Walter PBK inspired, inspired gun, James Bond gun. It's a little like pocket pistol. I don't know. Sorry if I was drawing off the off the camera for a second there, guys. I'm super spacey tonight. I am just being like totally terrible. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me. You know what? Like I do, I do know that a, a bunch of artists are like really harsh towards their art, and. I used I used to be really I used to be really harsh with my like t with myself and I st I still am really critical. Um, I'll, when I do get into like really bad ruts with my with my creativity or like my drive, it's it's normally because I am like being really hard on myself and like and not being happy with where my art's at or that it's not developing or like something I'm trying is not working. So like don't be fooled. Like I can be pretty hard on myself. Um, I just I I also try not to to show that aspect. Uh, one one thing that like one of one of my instructors taught me when I was in art school is that like it's really important as an artist to be able to accept a compliment, 
and to be able to like own your work. Like even if even if you look at a piece that you like, just say hypothetically you're going to present a piece like uh, I don't know for like a portfolio or like an ad agency or something. Um, like the worst thing you can do is to get up there and be say like, oh, this isn't the best I can do, or like this isn't my best. Or, like you know, like downgrade your work because I think a lot of artists downgrade their work to think to kind of get people to like take it with a grain of salt and while that makes sense kind of in your head it doesn't really make sense if you're trying to like you know put your art out there and saying like oh well this isn't my best work well you know who's who's gonna want to look at it if you're saying it's not your best like they want to see your best work so even if you know that it's not your best it's good to own it because your work is yours And I think that's that's a really important mindset to kind of adopt if you're going to get serious with with your art. Is that like yes, you can improve, and yeah, this you know this drawing or that drawing may not be your best, but it's yours and you did it. And just because just because of that, it's it's good and you should own it. And it's it's actually really good to be able to see things you don't like with your own art because that means you see what needs to be improved or you see things that can be improved and I always talk about this that like if you didn't if you weren't critical critical about your work you'd have no drive to get better so while it's it sucks to not you know be in love with your work sometimes it's a positive thing to realize the things you want to change in the next drawing and it a lot of the frustration can come from, you know, maybe not being in a place where you can act on the things that you want to change, but that's just where, you know, practice and, and it comes in. And I, I, do, I do try to be modest as much as possible. I don't like to, like, brag or toot my own horn or anything, but... I think I'm a fairly I'm a fairly good artist, and and most of the time I'm pretty happy with what I do. And if I'm not happy with something, it's like, no, well, it's not my best, but I can do better. But you better believe if I was like presenting it to a client or something, and be like, here it is. I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun doing it. Like it's good to have just a good positive attitude, because the better you feel about your art, I think, the better other people will feel about it too. Because if you kind of preface with like, like, you know, and I feel like I maybe just be talking in circles here, but if you preface with, oh, this sucks or this isn't my best work, then they're probably going to believe you. And those boots are getting kind of convoluted there, but... Nah, nah. I didn't come here to draw boots, I came here to draw coats. I'm just gonna. Yeah, a positive attitude. I mean, in more things than just art, like having a positive attitude is just like super important in your day to day life. Like, it's hard to get, sometimes get through the day if you can't, you know, without being like finding something to be positive about. And I know it's not always easy, and like some days are rough, but. I mean, this is an all-inclusive club, so, like, pouches, band-aids, big coats, and any combination are all accepted here. And, in fact, encouraged. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm actually, this is, this is gonna be like my last drawing of the stream, so, sorry, sorry about that, but yeah, get a little bit, a little bit more to, to see, but yeah, welcome back, welcome back. I hope your, uh, your morning wasn't too, wasn't too rough. Because I would, I would feel pretty bad if it was because of me. <laughs> Yeah, you know, a hiker with a with a pistol. Nothing to worry about.
Yeah, yeah, it could be any of those things. And that's what's great about, like... <laughs> that's what I, uh... That's what I don't personally understand about the whole... The, the people who draw, like, OCs and just draw the same character over and over and over. It's like, don't you get bored of them? Like, I... I as much as I love, like, the few characters in my comic book, like... I, I don't think that I could just draw them forever without actually, like, doing something with them, like making a comic book or something like that. I, I too much love just, just the aspect of character design, you know, like de designing a character like this, and then, you know, like, you guys are already thinking of potential, like, details about her. And I do the same thing, and I, th I think that's part of uh, the enjoyment of it for me. Um... And like, you know, I may never draw this character again, or I may come back to it and, um, I may come back to it, and like, she may, she may appear in a comic book or something, you know, if I, I have need for a character like this, or, you know, do something inspired by her, but, that, that's why I think the question of, like, who is that is so interesting, it's like, well, I, I don't really know. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. To have, like, a personal attachment to characters in a, in a certain way. Everybody, Everybody's different, too. Like, just because I don't get it doesn't mean it's... I'm, tr I'm trying to, like, discount it at all. Or say it's, like, not the right way to do things. It's just not, not the way I do things. Yeah. Yeah, but she's fun to draw. And kind of, you know, uh... Talking about characters, and like kind of kind of evolved from that last sketch I did, because uh, I had so much fun drawing that last sketch, I wanted to explore it uh, a little bit more, and I'll I'll bring that up for people who didn't didn't see it. I did this little like sketch of a girl with like long uh, bare legs and like a big jacket, and I had a lot of fun doing it. So it kind of like evolved into that, and that's kind of like part of character design for me. That's that's a lot of fun. It's kind of like. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like developing uh, characters in that way. Yeah, she was a lot of fun to draw. I'll probably clean up the, the pencil and post it on Instagram and call it a night. Cause I'm pretty tired and I got I got some quick stuff to finish and then I'm gonna be heading to bed a little bit early uh, tonight. Try to get a head start. On the week, so yeah, I, I feel bad that you just uh, that you just turned tuned in, but um, yeah, check out check out the replays on check out the replay on the app or, or find it on YouTube when I post it. And I'll try to do I'll be I'll be going back to my regular times during the week, like during during the weeknights. I I'm normally uh, streaming like uh, late at night, so. About like eight or nine PM uh, Pacific Standard Time. And yeah, thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for starting your morning with me. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good night or a good morning and get some rest or have a good start to your day and thanks for staying around and I'll I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.